A Libyan man who lost his whole family in a NATO air raid is planning to take his fight for justice to the European Court of Human Rights. He says the alliance dropped two bombs on his house during its military intervention in the country in 2011. Now we demand that NATO explain why our house and other houses were shelled. Are they military targets? I don't understand why NATO targeted our house. Sadly, my dear wife died as well as my cousins, my innocent children and our neighbours. Our friends were there with us. It was a monstrous crime. NATO has the latest equipment and technology which allows them to accurately determine the target. NATO aircraft struck specifically at night when people were in their homes. They intentionally hit civilian targets, hospitals, schools, gas stations. They destroyed all the infrastructure. They were killing civilians and destroying civilian infrastructure, apparently knowing there were no weapons there. Here you can see on the map where the NATO attack took place. As Khalid mentioned, 13 people were killed in the bombardment, including three children. He says his house may have been targeted because his father was a general who served under Libya's former leader, Muammar Gaddafi. But Khalid says it was just a family home and not a legitimate target. He began his battle for justice back in 2012, but has faced an uphill struggle to actually get his case heard in court. NATO, which enjoys legal immunity in such cases, argues that it had no evidence suggesting civilians were in the house at the time of the strike. However, Khalid says his lawyers have now found a way of challenging the proje protections afforded to the alliance, and he hopes his case will set a precedent for others who have also lost their families. We gathered our families in different parts of Libya. We found a man whose wife, daughter and son, as well as his mother, died during the shelling. There were other families in other cities, a lot of families. We compiled a report on all identified victims after having documented and photographed the materials, so that this case would become a historical precedent.